Hi, it's Jeff. And Denise from MouseSteps.com. And this is episode number 37 of Mouse Steps Weekly. Sponsored by Theme Park Connection in Winter Garden, Florida. The place for all your theme park collectible needs. And Maple Leaf tickets. Get some great tickets on, on some of these things we'll be seeing in this show. Including SeaWorld and the uh, Titanic, Titanic experience. Ex- exactly. So we're, we're going to start off at SeaWorld. And uh, for four Saturdays uh, starting... Well, starting this past Saturday and then going through February 2nd, they have Just for Kids. Just for Kids. Just for Kids event. Even though we're adults and, and we're we adults. experienced the whole day at Just for Kids and we had a great time. We did. Ha- and we didn't see everything. They had so much to do here. I mean, this is a dance party here for kids and you can see how much they enjoy that. Uh, and a mermaid. They had meet and greets with Shamu. What and- I thought was funny about the mermaid meet and greet is every time they switched mermaids they had to wheel her out on a little flatbed i was hoping uh, you'd catch that on i know i I, I always missed it but it was really kind of cool and of course the mermaid can't walk or anything so she needs to be wheeled off i thought that was very interesting like on a cart (laughs) and uh, the always lovable animals that we we enjoy seeing this is one of my favorite parts of just for kids is all the animal experiences they had uh this is an anteater wish we could borrow him for our yard eat all the he ants be, i don't uh, think he would, he would like handy. we were told he he probably had never eaten an ant that they actually have a special right a, spe- uh, food a for special him. food right and uh, these guys are there all the time of course and uh, flamingos we also saw sand hill cranes which we see in our yard elmo rocks this was such a fun show i was not expecting to enjoy it as much as i did and i did some research it was actually a show that uh, originally opened at sesame place in pennsylvania we haven't been there we have never been there and i watched a video on youtube of that show and it's this is a better production this is indoors air conditioned so i think they probably tweaked it up for uh for SeaWorld Orlando. And we have the full show on our YouTube channel. Uh, and in the show notes, you'll be able to see that. There's Cookie Monster. Yeah, Cookie Monster was great. Cookie Monster, this this uh, rap that he does was really funny. And then Ernie and Bert singing, uh, what was the song they sang? Don't, Don't stand, stand so, so close, close to, to me. me. Everybody laughed. So, oh, and this was the Cookie Monster cupcake, uh, cupcake with a cookie. And I love that. It was so delightfully good, by the, the way. They actually sell some uh, food in there. And Elmo Rocks is actually every day, not just on Saturdays. And if you you eat one you'll have blue lips yes. and blue teeth yeah eat so it your early friends will uh, get a kick out of it and they had the imagination movers from uh D- they're on disney jr we didn't know who the imagination were- movers were till last week right we never heard of the imagination movers but we loved them that was they, it they put on a very good show surprisingly <laughs> they really ro- like rocked they rocked the house so uh just for kids, not really just for kids. It was a great time for anybody, I see. And we didn't even get to do everything. There was so much to do. Also, last week, we had a, uh, a media event over at Titanic, the experience. And we and this is somewhere else we had never been, and I had no idea what to expect uh, when we walked inside. And it exceeded certainly my expectations. I'm sure yours, too. And this is a grand staircase. Yes. And uh, they had two actors. One played Molly Brown. I'm not sure who... Uh, I think she is a uh, first class passenger. Well, I'm sure she definitely was. And uh, this is the beautiful ceiling. And of course, this is everybody knows this from the from the movie. It just it, and it looks just like the movie. But and it looks like the real one too because they had pictures right. of uh, what the real one is and it's very very accurate. But I, I thoroughly enjoyed the uh, the actors. That really made it for me. It it was not an, it's not a museum. There are artifacts, there are replicas, but the actors are what really made it. But the reason we were there is there's a limited time Jewels of Titanic exhibit happening now. It actually started last week. And that goes till, uh, I believe, March 12th. Mm-hmm. And uh, these are actual uh, items brought up from the, not on the Titanic, but outside the Titanic, there was a bag. And they call it the debris field is where all this was uh, brought up from. They didn't take anything from the ship. The company that now owns the uh, Titanic exhibit is called RMS Titanic Inc. And they do a lot of salvaging uh, from that field. And right here, that necklace is actually a, and it's funny, uh, I don't want to say funny, but uh, ironic, a Lucky Charm necklace mm. and with three Lucky Charms on it. Well, hopefully it was lucky and the owner survived and it just fell away. Yeah, the... there's no way to know. I don't know if anybody will ever know where uh, most of these items came from. But I guess that's what makes it interesting. It's real. This is real history. Right. Something a little different we're not quite used to. <laughs> real, <laughs> not all real. the time. <laughs> so, uh, and these are just some photos showing some of the uh, the rest of the exhibit. This is a first-class uh, stateroom. 
And I believe this was Cafe Parisienne uh, with other uh, artifacts and replica items. Another shot of the uh, Grand Staircase. And this is a boarding pass everybody gets at the beginning of the tour. And each boarding pass has the name of a passenger who sailed, and you find out at the end uh, on a long list whether you survived or not. And I thought that was very, very moving. And next we had this iceberg simulation. I shouldn't say simulation because it was real ice. Uh, real ice. ice. And we all touched it, and they let us know that the water was actually colder that night than that, that sheet of ice is. Right, so it really makes it sort of a hit home when you touch that ice and you feel how cold it must have been 100 years ago. And most people died of the cold and not of drowning. Right, and uh, next we see what was known as the big piece. This is actually a, a smaller part of the original big piece, part of the hull. This is like two tons and uh, we weren't allowed to touch it or anything, but we could really tell how big it was just from a few feet away. The Jewels of the Titanic exhibit does end on March 12th, and then it heads to Las Vegas. So, again, two thumbs up for Titanic, the experience. We really enjoyed it. Next, we're off to Walt Disney World to talk about limited time magic. And this is the very first one, and it was called Bling in the New Year. Right. We didn't actually see this ourselves, but our good friend Daniel Anderson uh, was over there, and he recorded this little segment for us. And there's uh, Elvis Stitch and Chip and Dale have little outfits, but I guess at the beginning they didn't have any kind of clothes at all. You know what they did have though? Stilt walkers. Stilt walkers. Always had stilt walkers because what's a party without a stilt walker? Well, I I never really wanted to see this one to begin with. I mean, it's sort of like the same Club 626 that they often have. So Right. We're not really uh, dance party type fans, but again, we're adults without kids. It, it appears that the kids in the audience are having a good time, and I guess that's, that's what it's really for. But Disneyland has the Golden Horseshoe Salute, and we had a friend who was there. Right, right, we did, and uh, we hear that was a, a very nice... Very nice tribute to the horseshoe. And it's all month long. But we shouldn't compare what Disneyland has and what we have here, really. I mean, this is, this should be held to a lower standard. <laughs> a lower standard. I, want, I would like to see the diamond horseshoe back. There are things I'd like to see. I'm just trying to be affable. <laughs> the hand witches or just something that, you know, from the past would well, be nice. Well, on the, on the bright side... Week two, or actually week three, was uh, Winter Wonderland in Canada, this where they made the Canada Wonderland. over into a wonderland of snow and ice. That's not and true. Sledding. It's not true. Oh, actually, it was a character meet and greet. Right. And I think that Walt well, Disney World needs to keep the expectations down because it was a very nice meet and greet, but it wasn't exactly a Winter Wonderland. Right. I mean, and we love the characters. I mean, mm -hmm. character interactions are some of our favorite things to do. Look at, I mean, we always have fun with them. Um, but you could see that what you see right here, that that's is the it. Winter that's, Wonderland. That is, that is 100% it. We and there asked. was a, a little bit of flurries. I thought this was the beginning of the event. Right. We thought this was, was the uh, only thing. just going to be what you saw outside to draw you into the event that would be inside where you have the snow making and the slush and stuff like that. So I, I guess we went in with, uh, with t we bought into too much uh, expectation. I thought maybe it would be more like, you know, when Canada or any of the other countries celebrates a birthday and then you have all the different kinds of activities and such. So that's more what I thought. But... It was a nice character meet and greet. We had Chip and Dale, Daisy and Donald. And I'm going to give, uh, is this Chip or Dale here? You this all, is Dale. This is Chip well, Dale. Chip has the chocolate chip nose. I had offered him some acorns, and of course he took me up on my acorns. As a matter of fact, bag. he took all my acorns. So if you want to hear that and see the full uh, video, check it out at the uh, show notes. And a little trivia here, and this is very cute. A little trivia, Chip and Dale are wearing the exact outfits you'll see them in the Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas Time Parade. And we've seen Donald and Daisy in those outfits, but they're not really outfits that you'll see normally out and about in the park. Right. Well, we saw Donald uh, about three weeks ago at, at Fort, Fort Wilderness, Wilderness on Christmas Eve in that uh, that exact outfit right there. I don't know if we see, if we saw Daisy in that outfit before. It w you know what? It was cute. It was a cute, uh, a cute meet and greet. Yeah, it was definitely worth going to, and we look forward next week, I think. It is it might Long, be Long Lost, Lost Friends. Friends Week from what we hear. I hope they're really long lost. And also, while at Epcot yesterday, we went to the France Pavilion. We were heading to La Halle Boulangerie Patisserie, I believe that's how you call it, or the expanded France Bakery. Yes, yes, in an all-new location. And we were very impressed with the way it looked. It reminds me a little bit of a train station in France. 
This location is actually by the gift shop at the exit of the France movie. Right, you could just walk in between the two. I think the gift shop's a little smaller, and the old uh, boulangerie patisserie location is uh, being renovated into a ice cream shop. Right, at the moment is now closed. And we really enjoy the uh, decor in here. I think, for me, the decor was almost better than anything else, including the food. You had told me before it was very authentic, like really being at a, a bakery in France. Well, I don't, I, for me, it reminds me more of a uh, almost like a train station, the, the ceiling. And I haven't been to a bakery that looks like this. I've been to a bakery that looks like the other, you know, the old location. Um, but we're going to have to go to France, and we'll go look for one. Another new feature, though, is the video screens with the current price. And the current items, so they can be swapped out uh, much easier, and it's a, a more extended menu as well. And it's interesting, with the drink menu, I see the Cronenborg 1664, and that's that beer I had at the Be Our Guest restaurant, which and you I liked really it. liked, yes. And I, maybe they'll have them at Publix, we should go look. <laughs> <laughs> But now the star of the whole show, the food. The star, although the, to me the desserts are actually the star. Oh, I agree. I and agree. Uh, there's sandwiches and salads and desserts and quiches. So there's so much to choose from. Yeah, and we, we had a variety. We'll get to that at the end of, uh, of what we had for lunch when we were there. And uh, there's just two of us, so it's not like we could sample, you know, 100 different things. We can't afford to sample 100 well, look, different things. It looks like the uh, gray stuff, but it's the brown stuff. That sounds delicious. Well, not not, the, <laughs> not that brown stuff. The uh, the case actually sort of reminds me of um, Impressions de France when the kids come up to the window. Oh and yeah, the kids are in. all have their hands on the glass. I'm sort of waiting for the kids to come. And the that item, the chocolate, uh, what was that called? The chocolate duo uh, uh, chocolate. That I is think a new item. We we went mainly for the new items, which you'll again we'll we'll get into at the end. We had one of those things too. That's uh, I don't want to like a, a chocolate croissant, a chocolate croissant. Yes, and we had one of those. And uh, that was a framboise mousse uh, cake. Yes. It's hard <laughs> you're, enough just to say what they are. Keeping me on my toes here. That is right. That is right. And this I thought was very cool. It's how they put the brulee in the creme brulee, I think. Is that it? I believe I have that's no, what it is. I, I don't eat a lot of creme brulee, and I've never made it, so I'm not ex actually I don't think it's much. very interesting, though. I, I thought I think it would be totally flame different. The, flame the top, right? That's what I, I it guess, is. I guess that's true. I don't know. I, I think guess that's, that's what they're true. doing. We're stupid. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. We're un, undecorated. Un, uneducated. No. <laughs> and this is the dining area. It not only has tables and chairs, but also standing uh, tables as well. And there's also two unisex bathrooms back there. The only uh, casual service uh, bathrooms in this uh, in this pavilion. Yeah, so that's a nice little bonus as well. It is a well. nice bonus. But now it's time to talk about what we had. Right, and we had uh, the turkey sandwich. And it was very disappointing how much meat was in there. It reminded me of going to Publix and you get samples. And, you know, if you do four or five different items that you buy and then you get samples, you could make a sandwich. To me, that's what this is like. Right. I mean, it was it was good. It was, it was good. just a and the very, bread was very, good. very small for what you paid. Right. And I thought Be Our Guest was the same way for lunch. So that was a disappointment. I also had the uh, lobster bisque, which unfortunately was another disappointment because... There was no lobster in my lobster bisque, and it wasn't very warm. So uh, I don't know what the deal is. I don't know if it's the essence of lobster, but I, I, <laughs> I, I talked to someone else who had one, and they had the same problem. So, uh, you know, two, uh, two strikes on the main courses. Right, and we haven't tried everything. So uh, we did try these desserts, and we enjoyed every dessert we had. Yes, the desserts were fantastic. The Duo uh, Chocolate uh, has both a, a white and a chocolate mousse in it, a dark chocolate, but I thought it tasted more like dark chocolate. Right, and the raspberry was very sweet, and it had real raspberries on the top. Very so, yummy. I thought they were all good. I think France has always excelled at desserts. And we also had the baguette. baguette. We brought it home. That's why there's a potato next to it. And uh, I also brought home a chocolate croissant. We right. thought we'd extend our dining experience. So overall, compliments to the chef on the bread. And the desserts. Yes, and everything else we'll have to wait and see. And we'll be back. Yes, we'll definitely be back. Once again, thanks to our sponsors, Theme Park Connection in Winter Garden, Florida. Great place for collectibles. And also Maple Leaf tickets, get your SeaWorld tickets, get your Titanic tickets, all sorts of tickets. Disney World tickets. You got it. We'll see everyone again next week. Have a great week.